Try to appreciate the scenery, Camus. Most people never get to visit a place like this. This is a horrible place. No wonder Zerka built their base in the Dune Sea. No one would ever want to look for it here. He'll adjust. How was your visit to Old Man Gromick? Aside from Lexende burying us alive, it went all right. Too much to hope we'd seen the last of him. Mind if I see what you got for your troubles? These are official Zerka records from Secret Weapons Division 7. Schematics, survey maps. Looks like Gromit came through for us. Don't go anywhere. I think we're gonna need you. All right, we should be able to determine a rough location of the base from these charts. Problem is, the sands have shifted over the last few decades. We'll need some geo-readings to determine the facility's exact coordinates. We need to deal with Zerka. I agree, but Zerka's out of our reach. Our goal should be to rediscover their base before they do. The data isn't hard to get, in theory. I can give you a field scanner that'll dip into the sand, put us on track. But... A lot of this territory is unexplored. Locals talk about sand people communities, crate dragons the size of starships. Jedi have always explored places others fear. Can't argue with that. If you take readings in a couple of places, I can figure out the base location. Meet me back here when you're done. Take it slow and be careful. examination and suggest the product. You are fit for duty. Return to your post.
just as I programmed. That's quite enough of that. Did it work? Did you see Master Erez's vision? What Master Erez saw wasn't mystical at all. It was a carving made by the Sand People. A carving? Now, Master Erez never mentioned a carving on those walls. What did it show? Let's see if I can explain this. I'm listening. The Sand People are the oldest group on Tatooine? <laughs> Doesn't say much for progress. Still, I bet none of them get the sand rot. <coughs> I have a hard time believing Master Ares would do anything so cockeyed as working with the sand people. At least the Jawas are good for droid repair. He said it himself. He saw the vision on the wall and went to find the ultimate warriors. Wait. <coughs> what did you say the symptoms of this thing were? Delusions? Paranoia? What violence? One group of sand people has been unusually aggressive lately. Normally they stick pretty close to their camps. <laughs> I'm, I'm not saying I think Master Ares is behind it, but uh, maybe it's worth looking into. So where would I find these sand people? There's a farm and settlement out at Malcolm's Dunes that's been reporting a lot of sand people activity. I'll meet you out there. I know some of those folks, and... Uh, I can help your investigation. I thought you weren't supposed to go out into the desert. Says who? Bunch of doctors never set foot outside of Anchorhead in their lives? <laughs> Besides, <coughs> it'll do me good. Don't care if it kills me. <coughs> I'm tired of being an invalid. And my work is done.
What's happened here? Looks like some sort of massacre. Holiday, don't look! Listen, Delk, we got broken vaporators, a pile of wounded, and our food stores are almost completely gone. That lunatic said he was a Jedi and a friend of yours. We trusted him. You better have a pretty good explanation for why this Master Ares keeps sending sand people out to attack us. That's the Jedi I'm looking for. Where is he? Another Jedi? Damn it, Delk. Why do you keep leading them here? Listen here. We've already lost too much to that master What's-His-Face and his army of sand people. So why don't you just leave here quiet-like and don't cause any more trouble? I don't want trouble. Just tell me what's going on. I'm sorry, Jedi, but our trust is a bit worse for the wear at this point. Well, master Ares was nice enough when he came through asking to study the sand people. But ever since we pointed him to their camp, you could set your chrono by their attacks. We got nothing left. The Sand People are your enemies, not me. You suggesting we go out there and attack the Sand People? You want us to get killed? I promise I'm not working with Master Ares. All right. I guess we don't have a choice. I'll draw you out a map. In fact, some of our guys scoped out a side entrance you might be interested in. It's a little less crowded, which could be all the difference. There's something weird about these sand people. They seem faster and stronger than normal. Hmm. Well, I think I know where that is. I'll get some gear together and meet you out there. Maybe provide backup. <laughs> I can take care of myself. Even so, I'd like to see Master Ares for myself. <laughs> Still can't believe the Master Ares I worked with is the same guy who's causing so much trouble.
Time for a nap. Not even the scorekeeper could resist. Kaizen and I have come to honor his father's remains. May we have some privacy? If this dusk shadow is so fearsome, you shouldn't be out here alone. Even if these charges go off, you can't predict what aftershocks they could cause. Not even the Beside Kaizen and I have Bartram or us, Kaja, the North Wajur Lamba. The poor post got your task. Even if
Tak mas kosra sebetul dan tangis untuk polua yang sekarang pokret nak rasisi wadar tikca wadar frapsa kertas wajul lambasarsk parus kebotorak mereksk untuk polua kertas kertas
allow us. Jedi, you're about to witness it. After weeks of work, finally, an end to the darkness. These people, these marvelous, marvelous specimens, have been tested, no, purified, in the crucible of Tatooine's harsh environs. They alone are the hope of the galaxy. Their strength, their society, is the blueprint of our salvation. Master Ares, you are very ill. No, not ill. Not ill at all. They are simple, but long after the Empire and the Republic are gone, these people will remain. Their culture is built around strength. They cut the weak away like a societal cancer. Don't you see? It's the only way. The Jedi Order has a responsibility, to weak and strong alike. How can I make you understand? They are the ultimate warriors, purified by hardship. We must follow their example and cut away everything that would make us weak in the face of our adversaries. The frail, the diseased. <laughs> You're not thinking straight. Now, <coughs> look, I'm sick, Eris. You gonna cast me out too? I have no choice. We must fortify the Republic with its strongest members and send this army of light out against the darkness. You're not yourself. These are not your thoughts. You fools! To oppose me is to reveal your own weakness. You will be cast out. <laughs> Before you strike the killing blow, listen to me. I... I hear Lord Vivica's voice. I've failed him, just as I failed my old friend Parcanus when he died. Who is this Parcanus? He's... he's dead. A ghost. A memory. I keep thinking about our first mission. Our ill-fated mission to Malachor III. We were all weak. We all came under the thrall of the dark side. We did things we regretted, but Borcanus was our strength. As we tried to escape, I fell behind, and he ran back to save me. He became trapped. We had to leave him. It was my weakness that killed him. It's hard to lose a friend like that. But you have to move on. I'm trying to. 
That is the purpose of this project. Think about it. The Jedi Order spends so much time protecting the helpless and caring for the sick when we could be fighting the Empire. You must kill me. I was weak on Malachor III, and I'm weak now. But you must take my findings before the Council. Promise me that. We'll discuss that in a second. Uh, what? What was that? You... He's gone. Somehow you've driven Lord Vivicor away. I, I no longer hear his voice. I almost... I almost wish you hadn't done that. Of all the ungrateful, impudent, this Jedi saved your life. Lord Vivacor twisted my mind, and I'm glad to be free of him. Still, my discovery remains. From these sand people, I have learned the key to building the unstoppable army. I feel I must bring these findings to the Republic, yet I can't shake this feeling that some truths are best left buried in the sand. Using this information would mean the sacrifice of every good the Republic stands for. You're right. These records are no more. Thank you for your guidance, and for saving me from Vivica's grasp. Well, Jedi, I'm glad Master Ares is alive and his own self. <coughs> Best get back to Anchorhead myself. Sand rot's acting up, and, uh, well, frankly, sort of, sort of miss Darth Nurse's hollering. Thank you for all you've done. Good luck with whatever it is you're doing, Jedi. <laughs> hope, hope you find this Lord Vivicar.
Coming in. Looks like this will give us what we need, but huh? Getting an energy signature not too far from you. Some sort of installation, both from long-range sensors. If you would, head on over and see if there's anything there. Could just be a glitch in the scanners, but I doubt it. It's an exercise. <laughs>
I programmed. Still a few minutes before those scans are processed. Huh. What about... Hey! Look who made it back! Bad news, Valor. That reading was a Zerka listening post. Blast! Lexende must have set it up. Now the cyborg freak has our data. Zerka can find their lost base as easily as we can. Take it that means the readings came through? Yeah, machines are sorting through it now, but if Lexende's on the trail... We assumed Zerka came to keep us out of the facility. Maybe we were mistaken. Maybe they want what they left behind. Gromik's files. We saw some things. Yeah. Turns out Zerka didn't come to Tatooine to build or test the device. They found it here, underground. An artifact powerful enough to wipe out a planet just buried in the desert. Disaster struck, and they left it behind. That's what I'm thinking. Camus. Has the computer cross-referenced the scans with Gromic schematics? Um, yes. Uh, it looks like the main entrance is a few kilometers away. Uh, what about the door codes? There's a bunch of relay towers around the base. They'll have a mess of data, the codes, along with old communications. Downloading everything from the relay towers will allow you to get into that base and destroy the device. It can't fall into the wrong hands. We don't even know what the device does. Zerka saw it as a doomsday weapon. That's enough. Be careful in the base. 
In case they left traps. Or if Lexende finds you. That'll do, Camus. Time to let professionals finish the job. examination and suggested products. You are fit for duty. Return to your post. Take care. your ailments. You are fit for duty. Return to your post. Welcome. Please select an available travel route. Dr. Sopern here. We've finished our initial catalog of the cave artifacts, which register as over 20,000 years old. You think that would narrow down the possible creators, wouldn't you? There weren't many societies capable of space travel in that period. But I can't find any society or species that fits these criteria. Even greed technology isn't comparable. Anyway, Dr. Larrick and I will study the primary device and assign lesser relics to the others to keep them busy. Hopefully, we'll find something useful. Zerka's going to make a fortune off this stuff if we can figure it out. End log.
is Director Antayan speaking. As you know, worker safety is one of Zerka's top priorities, and we take accidents seriously. Therefore, due to concerns surrounding studies of the device, we are implementing a new policy. Anyone wishing to perform a physical inspection of the device must get written authorization from myself and Dr. Daigo. Research using droids and remote scanners may continue normally. Please note that this does not affect our division's overall schedule. concerns on the record before more people get hurt. I'm worried about the device. Its energy readings keep fluctuating, and it appears to be trying to link with the lesser artifacts. I think it's a weapon, maybe a bomb. Soprin's theory about it being a Gree Enclave creation are inane. We've already got evidence of an ancient alien civilization visiting Tatooine, and they weren't Gree. We've seen similar technology in the Kashyyyk Shadowlands. I'm sure the Infinite Empire is tied to the device's origins, no matter what anyone says, and I'm tired of being ignored. Dr. Lyric is gone, he's put in for a transfer and is heading back to Anchorhead, taking one of the lesser relics with him. Good riddance. He was a pain to work with. Still. Lyric's theory about an ancient infinite empire and a master alien species was fringe science at best, but some of his data makes sense. I'm going to run a new series of tests tomorrow, using a remote arm to open up the device. We'll see where it goes from there. Terran Cedrax at your service. Director Antaean to all Zerka employees. Please listen and remain calm. A few minutes ago, we experienced a minor equipment failure in the main laboratory. 
As a precaution, we are initiating lockdown procedures. Do not attempt to override the system so the computers will respond with force. Stay where you are, and you'll be alerted when the situation resolves. Just as I programmed. That's quite enough of that. Some exercise.
Aiden fettel még fél törf nem át kapja. How did you do all this? Me bag address past yatta nel bines for casting tea. Zinjesti he druli, das bruli fe he dan dan kwa. What were you trying to achieve? That's my zenke you, John. My strama you, They been fucked up me feel tough now, my couple. Patuk che yet me big shuram. Me atena tite, man. How do you mean to accomplish that? Get the Amazon and get. I'm a contest, I'm a ta. Habib, you get a little bit of a little Take care. Thank <laughs> you. 
Just as I programmed. <laughs> That's quite enough of that. Marvelous. Absolutely marvelous. We could never have excavated this place without your help. Oh, we knew where the base was. But getting inside, ghastly work. And I should say, I'm delighted to finally meet you in person. Do you want something from me, Lexende? You see, when I was assigned to stop the Republic from finding this facility, I was intrigued by the Doomsday device. That my superiors told me to stay away only whet my appetite. I decided to take the device for myself. You really think you can control its power? Oh, I'll give it a try. I'm offering a very large sum of credits, as well as rescinding the kill order on Camus, if you help me. Hand over the device, and the Republic never has to know. Tell Fala you destroyed it. What do you say? Does this answer your question? Do you know what that thing was? What it was worth? Oh, now you've left me no choice. I'm going to have to kill you. Painfully. Just as I proposed. I'm a pacifist. And my work is done. Well, if it isn't my favorite Jedi. You look like you just walked out of a sandstorm. Was there a base? Did you see the device? Camus was worried that if you failed, it'd mean the end of the world. Well, I... You saw Zerka's records! Yeah, and I've been worried too, so catch your breath and let's hear it. That device? It had an ancient creature trapped inside. It had gone insane. I had to kill it. You're kidding! I had no idea. But if it's settled, that's good enough for me. So this is over? We're sure? You'll still need to testify, Camus. The investigation of Zerka won't end here. Get me to Coruscant, away from the Sand People and Zerka Cyborg Assassins? I'll testify all you want. You should know. Scan has picked up a Zerka ship fleeing the system. They're running scared now. 
Too bad we couldn't bring down the entire company. We stopped the device from hurting anyone. That's enough of a win. Anyway, I promised you payment. Don't ever say the SIS isn't grateful. Now take care of yourself and try not to get pulled back into these corporate schemes. Camus can tell you, they never really end. You are fit for duty. Return to your post. Take care. Examination and suggested product. You are fit for duty. Return to your post. Welcome. Please select an available travel route.
Master, I've marked the best escape pod for your sole use. I, of course, will go down with the ship. Master Ares has reported back to the Council. Good work. He speaks of discoveries on Tatooine. We intend to hear his full report when he returns to Coruscant. Did you discover anything more about the Plague Master, this Lord Vivacar? Master Ares seemed to think that Vivacar was why he kept remembering Malachor III and his friend Parcanus. A connection between the events on Malachor III and our current circumstances is clearly forming. But we have accounted for all our missing masters and the Plague Master is still at large. We must discuss our findings in person. Return to us on Typhon immediately. We may yet find a way to locate Lord Vivacar. Ah, excellent. We have a mystery. A package was hand-delivered to the ship. No name, aside from mine. No return address. The package contained a letter on flimsyplast, sealed inside a glass capsule. Nothing else. That's simply fascinating. The capsule has a marvelously puzzling lock. I've never seen such craftsmanship. Once I get it open and read the letter, hopefully I can assuage my curiosity. This is so exciting! I wonder who it's from. Theron's technological work is famous. Perhaps someone's trying to get his attention. I'll get to work on this lock. If you're right, we'll know soon enough. This is absolutely intolerable. I finally get that blasted capsule's lock open, and the letter inside? Pure gibberish! Jedi, you can make this all better, can't you? Listen to this. AH3 2O SH4. And that's just one line! The message is probably encrypted. Yes, that's occurred to me too. But all our deciphering attempts have failed. AH3 3 3. Ah. This isn't a message, it's a chemical formula. 
and the letter itself smells strange. I thought it was the capsule, but what if applying the chemical to the letter had some effect? That formula looks very complex, and you don't have a laboratory. Hmm. An excellent point. Oh, oh, let me make that chemical. I can do it in a snap, and I simply have to know what's on that letter. I'll get started right away. Last, an answer. However do you do it? Your very presence sparks my inspiration. You didn't need me to solve this. I will not hear a lovely woman denigrate her gifts. Let me express my gratitude properly. In private, perhaps. There's already a woman in your life, Theron. What Holiday and I have is... complex. It has its pleasures. But there are simpler pleasures. No less valuable, but... unconnected. So there's no need for concern. Even so, I don't want to risk hurting Holiday. I'm sorry. Then we were not to be? I... Please excuse me. I have unfortunate news. I regret that our liaison must... come to an end. So Holiday has spoken to you. An agreement has been reached. I cease any advances to you, and in return, Holiday will not... electrify my bunk at random intervals. Our tragic parting only compounds my current troubles. Do you remember our mystery capsule and the letter? Holiday made the chemical just as she promised. I thought applying it to the letter was the answer. But when I tried, it completely dissolved. We are left only with vapors. What a shame. You and Holiday work so hard on this. Poor Holiday blames herself. She shut herself down for a long cry. That chemical is the answer. I know it. But without another lead... Wait. The capsule the letter came in. I kept it to study the lock. I could apply the chemical to that instead. One clue's already gone up in smoke. What happens if we lose the capsule? Then I'll eat this blasted chemical and see if that does anything. Holiday, come back online, my dear. We have a new avenue of inquiry. Success! Our mystery capsule has finally yielded its secrets. Converting the chemical to a gas was the ticket. We managed to fill the capsule. And all these words started glowing on the inside. We found the real message. Isn't that super? You must be very proud of yourselves. It gets better. The message is from the Luminatus Club, a veritable who's who of the galaxy's finest scientific minds. An invitation to join them. The Luminatus Club only accepts the best. The pioneers in their field. All these years in obscurity. And my genius has finally been recognized. That is truly excellent news. This means I can enter the club's annual symposium. My creations against those of my fellow scientists. The symposium winner will be the darling of the Luminatus Club. It wouldn't be unreasonable to consider them the greatest scientist in the galaxy. You'll need something truly special to stand a chance of winning. I think universal adoration and the symposium's grand prize are worth pursuing. Don't you? Pardon me, Jedi. I must accept the club's invitation, then start thinking of the finest symposium entry ever created. <laughs>